Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup. Today, we're diving into some unexpected news shaking up 50 Cent's ambitious plans for Shreveport, Louisiana. His vision to transform the city with G-Unit film and TV studios, housing projects, and community investments might be at risk, all thanks to a proposed change in Louisiana's tax credit laws. So what's the deal? Let's break it down. Here's the scoop. Louisiana's film and TV industry has been thriving, partly due to a 40% tax credit incentive on in-state production expenses. It's a huge deal. This credit attracted productions like NCIS and True Detective. But now, the state's House of Representatives just voted to end this program by June 2025 as part of a broader tax system overhaul. For 50 Cent, this tax credit was a game changer. It's one of the key reasons he set up his production base in Shreveport. Without it, many projects, including his and others, might face significant financial setbacks. Now let's talk about what's at stake. 50 Cent wasn't just building a production studio. He was betting big on Shreveport's future. His three-phase initiative included revitalizing properties, creating housing, and developing family-friendly entertainment spots like a massive jump park. Real estate broker Jared Durden revealed that 50 Cent and his team had already closed deals on about 10 properties, with plans for at least 10 more. We're talking about all cash offers to transform downtown Shreveport with grocery stores, commercial properties, and more. He even mentioned how passionate 50 is about creating spaces for kids and adults alike. It's not just business, it's community focused. So how's 50 reacting? On Instagram, he's staying hopeful, writing, this doesn't feel good, but it could be great for Louisiana. Patience, let's see how it plays out. He also thanked Shreveport for supporting his recent Humor Harmony event, which resulted in zero violent crimes for 16 days, a huge accomplishment for the city. Developing story that could bring a major gut punch to Louisiana's film and TV industry. Tomorrow, the Louisiana House is expected to vote on a corporate tax plan that could eliminate the state's film tax credits, which have been critical in rapper 50 Cent bringing his G-Unit studios to Shreveport. Our Jonathan McCall is live in the studio with details, reaction, and what comes next. Jonathan? Hey, Jeff, Brenda. For weeks, the future of this $150 million tax credit has been up in the air. Today, there were reports that the House voted to eliminate those tax incentives. But just moments ago, before coming on air, I talked with State Representative Stephen Jackson of Shreveport, who tells me the bill to decide the future of those film and TV credits will be decided tomorrow. Production among several incentives on the line as Governor Jeff Landry looks to overhaul Louisiana's system to flatten the state's personal income tax. Lawmakers are currently in the middle of a special session to decide this. As for this tax credit, it has been critical in making Louisiana a popular destination for hundreds of projects, including rapper Curtis 50 Cent Jackson investing in Shreveport, bringing his G-Unit studios here. Earlier this year, Jackson met with Mayor Tom Arsenault of Shreveport and Governor Jeff Landry to discuss those incentives. Recently, the city of Shreveport also passed a unanimous resolution showing their support and the need to keep those credits here in Shreveport. Even as this tax credit decision looms, 50 still finding ways to make a positive impact. But with the state Senate yet to vote on the bill, the future of his G-Unit studios and other investments remains uncertain. 50 Cent's vision for Shreveport was bold. Jobs, community spaces, and entertainment hubs. While Louisiana's tax credit decision could throw a wrench in his plans, it's clear that 50 is committed to making a difference. The big question now is, will the Senate's final decision keep his dream alive? All right, thank you, Evan. Joining us like he does every Wednesday, Mayor Tom Arsenault with Shreveport. Thanks for coming on. That's good to be here. Thank yes. you for being here. We have a lot to get through this morning. Let's talk about HB2, which deals with different credits. Right. Uh, the film tax credit is one that we are watching. They had the third reading on yesterday. So uh, today around, I think, 2 o'clock, they're going to kick it back up and, and start votes. What do you know about that? Well, uh, so far, uh, not a lot of good news on that front. Mm. Uh, we are we we have a firm that is representing us down in Baton Rouge. We keep in touch through them with the legislators. I've also been in touch with some of our uh, legislators to try and uh, see what we can do about that. But uh, that one that one looks like uh, that is going to go through the House, and we'll begin working on the Senate side. Okay, is what does that mean for Fifty Cent? I well, think you know, we've all I have, been looking at no. each other like <laughs> he uh, he has not indicated that that's a an absolute deal killer, but uh, you know, but he I did, came here for that. Well, he came here to film, right? And and obviously that's a part of the calculus 
of that. So yes, it, it likely will have an impact on some of his decisions. Is there anything we could do on the city side to maybe give him some incentives? Is that something I've talked we, about? Well, we don't, we don't have an income tax, gotcha. so we don't have any tax credits that we can give. So uh, we're trying to work we're trying to work through the governor's office. The, uh, you know, Mr. Jackson and I met with uh, met with the governor, and the governor seemed open to some other forms of incentives that were not specified. Okay. Any chance that he'll meet with lawmakers? I mean, I know the governor is the governor, but like maybe testimony in front of the House or the Senate lawmakers to really put his his plea out. I, I think with his travel schedule, that's probably unlikely, but possible. What do you think about Louisiana's move to end film tax credits? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on music, entertainment, and beyond. Thanks for watching the Red Carpet Reup. Catch you next time.